okay welcome to my youtube channel uh this is cell forecasting tutorial series in machine learning so <coughs> let me just uh, show you the coverage of our tutorial series uh the first part of our project uh, is about introduction what the meaning of our project uh, importance of our project requirements of our project demo and the meaning of data set I mean some few description on data set after that you will fix missing files then you will do feature selection will convert words to number will concatenate x and y will train model and check accuracy will dump and test a model then we'll move to model deployment where we'll use frasky to deploy our model after that we link our Flask app with static files then you will receive user input and make a prediction our final uh, part of our cells forecasting and machine learning is testing and a conclusion so this is uh, just uh, an introduction and uh, we are going to to have a simple demo so before going to have our project demo let me tell you the meaning of this project cell forecasting is a system by which future sales volume are estimated in a specific it identifies how much of project will sell during a certain future period in what market and at what price so our project is about to predict the future sales taking our sales of first month as input sales of the second month as input then you predict what will be the sales of the third month so what is the importance of sales forecasting it helps to determine the production volumes so if you know in future month sales will will be will decrease so it's much better to decrease the production it forms a base for budget you know if you know that my sales will increase in my future you just increase your budget yeah and so on it facilitates in this deciding extent of advertising if you have not that your sales in the future will increase you know advertisement is one of great factor of increasing sales uh, it helps in taking decision about a plan expansion and the changes in the production uh, it is quite known that you you are making your plans and the changes according to the market demand and the supply so if demand increase you just increase the supply if if supply you know yo, yeah if you are dealing about demand and the supply once the demand increase you increase the supply once demand increase you increase the surprise that's it so that's uh, the meaning of our project and uh, the importance of our project in a real life environment so what the requirement of this project i uh, would just need uh, any computer regardless of os uh, we need the anaconda we need the pycharm we need the python and a sublime editor as an option i prefer editing uh 
.html files using Sublime. So after 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 knowing the meaning, importance, and the requirement of our project, uh, we can have we can have a demo. It's part of demo, and let's see how our project will look like at our final tutorial video. So uh, this is our cell forecasting model deployed on Frask. So let me put a rate. Let, let me let me say a rate of transaction as three cells in first month are uh, let, let me say just uh, four hundred dollars, and the cells in second month is let me say let me say is is. 300 and uh, let me predict now sales should be uh, 398.31 so it, it is capable of making prediction we can try more times so this is a project demo so let let me uh, let me let me let me let me make a data set description you know here is our data set let me copy it let me copy it uh and let me move to the desktop and desktop i have a project called the data science so i open it if you don't have you can click you can create such a folder because this is a step by step project from the beginning up to the end so here you can can cre create folder uh, called the cells cells forecasting forecasting yes that way so inside the folder mm, just paste your data set don't worry about the data set and the source code of the whole project everything will be uploaded to Motec github account so everything will be able to will be ready for downloading so guys you worry about data set mm, at the final uh, let me find a way I'll upload I'll put a link in this video and a video description so scroll down in the video description then you will see a link to download uh, this data set so i have already created a project folder named the sales forecasting and uh, uh, this is data set named as sales.csv so let me let me open it and then make some few description as you can see we have very 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 small very 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 small data set uh, it, it it contains of seven rows and uh, about uh, about uh, four columns let me, let me increase the size let me so so much you can see you can see clear yes that way oops yes so we have a smaller data set so these are the cells in first month second month and third month these are the rates of just rates of, of you know of like a transaction or rates of customers and a shop and so on so uh, so so far we have covered the meaning of project importance of project requirement of project uh, project demo uh, and the data set description so the next thing or the last part of our project is loading of data set this should be F loading of data set is our final part of this tutorial is our final part of our first tutorial video so let me I have already launched the Jupyter notebook so if you are not ready 
start your Anaconda Navigator then your Ranch Jupyter Notebook and it will open up in your D40 it will open up in your D40 web browser so so let me close this let me close these cells so I mean at desktop and a project to fold uh, any folder named data science so uh, let's find a project uh, a folder we created cells for casting I'm opening it this is your data set so let's let's click let's create a Jupyter notebook yes right let's name it as cells cells forecasting cells for cells forecasting yes so let me rename this uh, so uh, the, the first part of uh, of uh, after after creating uh, Jupyter notebook is to import necessary libraries and the loading of our data set so let me let me light here loading data set so import import pandas as pd import import numpy as np then it, let me let me import something else here from pandas import read read underscore csv so read underscore csv is python pandas function uh, for reading uh, data set on a Jupyter notebook so let me put a file name file name is equal to cells cells dot csv then in data is equal to uh, read underscore csv csv then we pass the file name we have defined it uh, in our line above then let me display first five rows of our data set so data dot head then it put something like this after learning this cell uh, I will have already written or loaded our data set uh, on Jupyter notebook so you can do just a keyboard shortcut control enter oops what's wrong what's wrong invalid syntax okay import numpy as np let me now you can see uh, actually this is our data set which have one two three four columns yeah so this is just an end of our first tutorial in our cells forecasting tutorial series using machine learning uh, just to put a short summary of what we have covered in this tutorial uh, we, we have covered the meaning of our project self cells forecasting which predict the future cells uh, we have covered the importance of this project as I said it helped to determine production volume uh, help you to determine budget uh, advertising and so on also we we have learned uh, the requirement for this project I told you we need the anaconda uh, we need the PyCharm sublime Python yeah something like that we made a project demo uh, and we we made the data set description explaining the rows and the columns of our data set and the final part was loading of our data set so that's a that's a short summary of our first tutorial series uh, do not miss our next tutorial 
video which will be fixing missing valves. So stuck with me from the beginning up to the end. Stuck, stuck with me. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like, put comment, and subscribe for next video updates. Goodbye.